guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music and I'm really excited to teach you a classic Rush song, Closer to the Heart. Something that's really cool that's going on with this song though is a little technique called Nashville tuning. It's, it's, it's basically the easiest way to describe it is like if you took a 12 string guitar and you clipped off the lower end strings. Um, so what you end up getting is an octave up, E, A, D, G, and then a regular B and a regular high E, and so you get this real chimey, bright sound that is really nice in recording. A lot of famous songs use it, but you don't realize it. I'm gonna talk more about it in the lesson. Also, this video is sponsored by D'Addario, who happens to make a special set of Nashville tuning strings that are very light gauge, otherwise you wouldn't be able to uh, put that much tension on your neck. And huge thank you to D'Addario for sponsoring this video, and you can check out their Nashville tuning strings in the link below. Let's get to the lesson. All right, I'm gonna show all this stuff with a regular six string electric, but in that intro, you've got an acoustic 12 string, or you could also do an acoustic six string, and then another guitar in what's called Nashville tuning, which is a special set of strings that are lower gauge, and the E, A, D, and G are an octave up. And so it's like having the higher end of a 12 string, but as a six string. You layer them together and it's even better sounding than a 12 string. Uh, but here we go. We're gonna hold this grip here. It's gonna be, um, this is gonna be the foundation for the main intro. Uh, it's, it's off of an A chord, but with the open B string in there. So that's seventh fret D, sixth fret G, open B, and then fifth fret high E. And this very first little pattern is different than the rest of the song. So I'll just show it to you from the very beginning. Here we go. With holding that grip, we're gonna pick with our right hand E, B, G. Same right hand pattern, but then pinky on the seventh fret high E. So you put those together. The next one, your index finger has to slide down to the fourth fret high E. Same right hand pattern, so. Then index goes back to the fifth fret high E and you're gonna hit that twice. And then the G string. So this is a little variation that only happens in the intro. Like that. So you put that all together. Then this little descending pattern that happens to the rest of this opening. That sound. And so I'm hitting 4th fret on the high E, then 7th fret B, then my index comes off and hits 5th fret B, and then I hit the G string, so. And that's the first pattern that's different than the rest. So let's do that one more time. So when you play it fast, eh, it sounds like the song. <laughs> Slow, it's, it's a little weird when you break down that pattern. But so that's how it starts. And notice I have my ring finger on that D string and we didn't use it yet, but from here on out we do use it. So you'll see where it makes sense to have it there. As, we, as you practice this song, you'll, I think you'll see that it makes sense. So the intro. Now it is going to hit that D. So here's the rest of the pattern that repeats the same way. Holding that same grip, high E, B, but D. Then pinky, and now it's back to that, going back to the G string. 
So I went high E, B, G. So only the first time of the pattern now, we're gonna go to that D there, so. with now the pinky, so on the seventh fret high E. Sorry, as I explained, I couldn't play it at the same time. So that so now the regular pattern, after that weird variation, pinky goes up and you go E, B, G. So then fourth fret high E. And that's just E, B, G. goes back to five and you hit that E B G so watch then from that grip you immediately go to the four and do that same four seven five on the B and then that six on the G so you put that all together and you have the uh, main riff Sounds like this. Now real quick, let's go to that little beginner variation and how it goes into that. Same grip, we're not gonna start with that D, we're gonna do now the regular one. So that next little descending part, the shape that we were doing, that's an A add nine, or an A with a B, open B in it. We slide down, but then index is gonna go to the B string. So it's just like thinking of this as a G, well it is a G, with the open high E in there. So it's like G major six. But then it goes to an inversion D major chord. So from this grip, five, four, three, ring finger goes down, slides a half step. And middle finger goes to third of the B, index goes second of the G. So you're playing a D major chord, but the F sharp is like the leading tone. The major third is in the bass, so it's an inversion. Then that slides, that ring finger slides down to the third fret, and you play that same F shape, and now we have F major seven. So here it is, G major six, D major inversion, with that open high E in there. F major seven, just open high E again. And then think of an A major chord, but with the ring finger off, You have the open B in there, then third fret, and then second fret B. So I'm holding this grip, and with my right hand, the pattern is. So I'm going D, G, B, E, B, D. So I'm skipping G on the way back. Slide down, same thing. 
Slide down again, same thing. And then that A, sus two to sus four to major. You can use your ring or your pinky finger. And then B, D. And then hammer that B again. And then the open high E. It's just, you know, classic A major kind of, you know, embellishment. Even if you strum the whole thing, it sounds good. But, you know, in a tab, it would be. So. We go into the verse. All right, so I'm just real quick, just to show you how cool it is. I'm switching to the Nashville tuned guitar. So nothing different than a regular guitar, except or just an octave up. So listen to when I play the next section: an A chord, a G chord. You know, classic. So that just layers great. And you can mess around with that and it's a real nice creative guitar tool. Um, all right, let me go through that progression real quick. All right, back to the regular tuning guitar. A major or A5. Especially when it starts to rock. The one finger A chord is great. So check it out. A even a cleaner muted A string. So A, G, D, G, A. A, G, and now it reverses. D, A, G. D, A, G. got the overdrive kick in and right before the guitar solo you have hits on the D A G into the guitar solo all right so the progression of the solo and you can play all different kinds of voicings but it's uh, D to G so C then A, D, G, C, A, D, G, C, A, D, G, C, A. All right, so let's look at what's going on over that. So we're gonna think pretty much the D major scale, D major pentatonic, that's how I'm thinking of it. So let's get into it. So coming from the D major scale, and there's also little harmonies overdubbed, It's 
all following up. So bend on the 10th fret high E. Two, three, four, natural. One, two, three, four. Then eight, one, two, three, four, and that's over the C chord. Then I'm I'm gonna do it from here. I'm doing it, learned it by ear, but so seven, eight, ten, up slide up to twelve. And then and that's on the high E, 9, 10, 9, 10, 12. So. And then up the pattern again, dun, 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 which is 10, 12, 14. And so then it slides up a pattern again, which is 12, 14, 15. And then up the pattern again to the 17 and then bend on that 17. So when you get to the 10th fret high E, the pattern is So check it out. So that's uh, 10, 12, 14, and then 12, 14, 15. So then it repeats that because it goes like this. Repeats it, but then right to 14, 15. So. into that bend. So from the top. Now there's a lower harmony, but the main lick, if you're playing it, you know, without overdubs. So that's a half step between 14 and 15. and then bending that up a whole step. All right, there's more harmonies layered under this with the main lick. So I'm bending 10th fret B, hitting the 10th on the high E with my pinky, back down on that B bend, So then I'm sliding eight, seven on the B, pulling off from nine to seven on the G, and then a bend on the nine, release to the seven on the G. Once again, there's layered harmonies. So it's between the uh, seven and the 10, but then you bend it at the end from the nine. And then uh, da, 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 seven to six. And then I'm sliding on the B string up to that A note, which is the 10th fret. All 
right, so from there, we're just doing the main pattern. And then eventually right back in to the verse and then keep repeating the. And you can hear, really hear that Nashville tuning in there at the end layered with the other guitars. But that's it. Hope you have fun. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thank you again for the continued support. Of course, if you haven't, I appreciate you subscribing here to the Marty Music YouTube channel and then checking the description down below. There's free courses, other killer bonuses, the gear I use, all kinds of killer stuff. So check that out. Thank you again. Hope to see you later.